Okay, hi everybody. It's four o'clock and we're here for a Newfoundland conversation. This is inspired by the amazing video that the Clussics team put together, the Clummer Sip and See, which was talking about Clummer Spaniel proportions and some aspects of the breed type. And so we thought it would be really fun to do something with Newfoundlands. We also are in the position of today was the day we were going to drive to Michigan for our national. So now we are not going to Michigan. So we're trying to enjoy four of the animals that we were going to bring to the national to show there. And right now we're looking at four different bitches and we really appreciated Deb Weigel having looked at four different dogs for us. So first, I think I wanna say that I think if we get some enthusiasm around having conversations about Newfoundlands, we could do many more of these about many topics and we could as we all know talk about Newfoundlands for hours on end. So today I think I'm going to take a page from the Classics book and we're going to focus on proportions. We're going to talk about the proportions of these dogs and what the standard talks about for proportions and we're going to use that information to inform some other things about Newfoundlands like um, their coat, their substance, their size and and how that influences you know how we might evaluate them. So the first thing I'd like to do is introduce you to the four dogs we have, or four bitches that we have here today. So I'm gonna start in the top of the line. Um, this is Beulah, the first animal in our line. Beulah is a six-year-old bitch. And I'm just gonna show you her from each angle. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about proportions and measurements later but I am gonna tell you now that Beulah is 140 pounds. Now I'm gonna introduce you to our second bitch. Our second bitch is Avery. Avery is 125 pounds and Avery is seven years old. Our third bitch I'm gonna introduce you to is Skylar. Skylar is eight years old. Skylar is 100 pounds. Let's get a little view of Skylar's face. And now we're gonna go to the last bitch in line. This is our youngest bitch. This is True. True is two years old. And True is 105 pounds. I'll give you a little view of True's face. Okay, so I think the first thing I'd like to do is do a little bit of measuring of these animals so you can see what their proportions are. And I'm gonna use, I don't actually unfortunately have a wicket, so I'm going to use just a regular old yardstick to measure them. And I'm going to, I have already measured them in advance, so I'll try to show you the measurements as best I can. Um, maybe, do you want me to hold them? yeah, Steve can hold the yardstick in front of the dog and I can show you what the measurement is. So when we're measuring, we're gonna measure from the withers to the ground. This is according to the standard. And then we're gonna measure from the point of the shoulder to the point of the hip bone. So you can see that as the measurement is viewing here, it's hard to exactly see because we don't have a wicket, but we're gonna say she's about 29 inches at the shoulder. Now we're going to measure her length of her body. And this is very interesting. I think this is something that is an appealing thing from an outline perspective, but if you can look at the, sorry, I'm having trouble zooming in on the ruler. You can see that she also is about 29 inches when you measure her from the point of her shoulder to the point of her hip. So this is interesting because the Newfoundland standard asks for the Newfoundland to be slightly longer than tall. And I think a lot of people might find this bitch's outline appealing, but she actually isn't slightly longer than she is tall. She's exactly the same dimensions. And so I did a little mathematical calculation behind the scenes and she is 0% longer than she is tall. I think pretty much everyone could have done that on their own. <laughs> But anyway, I think it's pretty interesting to consider that she's really square. And again, the standard doesn't ask us for square, it asks us for slightly longer than tall, but square is appealing. So it's just something to consider. 
Okay, so now we're going to move to our next candidate who is now taking a small break and laying on the ground. So we're going to do a quick switch around and stack Avery. I also should mention that the Newfoundland standard states that the average Newfoundland bitch is to be 26 inches at the withers and she is to be between 100 and 120 pounds. And it also states that large size is desirable, but not at the expense of movement, balance, structure, all those other things that we so much appreciate in this breed. So now we're going to measure Avery. Avery is originally how I had them lined up and how I introduced them was in order of their size. Beulah is the largest of the bitches. Avery is the second largest. You can see here that Avery is about 26 and a half inches at the withers. At least that's how, I think the um, ruler isn't quite on the ground correctly. But anyway, when we <laughs> measured her before we had her at 26 and a half. Maybe 27. Yeah. Maybe 27 um, inches tall. And now we're gonna do a measurement of her proportions, her length from her point of shoulder to the point of hip. And again, I'm going to try to get a view of the measurement. And she's about 29 inches long. You can see 29. So this is interesting. This makes Avery about 9.4% longer than she is tall. So I think visually, when you look at her, you would definitely say that she looks longer than Beulah, than our first animal. But she's not really long, but is 10% slightly longer than tall? I don't know, that's open to some subjective interpretation. I think that some people might say 5% is slightly. 10% seems not unreasonable. I think most people would say 25% is not slightly, but I think there's definitely a lot of room here for interpretation. Just before we go too far, I wanna make sure, um, are you seeing any comments go through? I am seeing the comments. Oh good, because somebody just said a minute ago they couldn't see anything, so oh, but I'm glad okay. if you are, that's good. If I didn't mention it before, I should say that this is our first time <laughs> using Facebook Live, so if it's if it could use some improvement, feel free to tell us, and if we end up, if people end up enjoying it and we end up doing more later, we will definitely um, try to improve our Facebook Live skills. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our third bitch. This is Skylar. Skylar is, relatively speaking, a much smaller bitch than Beulah and, and smaller than Avery too. And so now we're going to do a quick measurement of her. So looking at her shoulder, we're seeing her be 26. about 26 and a half at the shoulder. We had previously measured her as 26. So, um, you know, when we measured them on the table, we may have got slightly different values. So don't try to copy my math. So when we measure her length, we found that she is about 28 inches long. So at 26 and a half tall and 28 long, that makes her 7.7% longer than she is tall. And I think when you look at her, you would say she doesn't look particularly long. I mean, 7.7 .7 might be kind of that sweet spot of slightly longer than tall. She definitely doesn't appear quite as square as Beulah, but I don't think she looks long either. So this is interesting, 7.7%. .7%. And remember, Beulah was 0% longer than she is tall, and Avery was 9.4% longer than she is tall. So now we're gonna to move to our last candidate, which is True. True is the littlest of our four bitches. And also the youngest, she's also high spirited. And I think it's really interesting, one thing that's really interesting to consider is um, where do we look at substance versus size? Is the tallest dog or the biggest dog always the most substantial dog? That may not be the case. I think there are other things we need to consider. So now we're gonna measure true. True is about 24 and a half inches at the withers.
And now we're gonna measure from the point of her shoulder out to the point of her pelvis here. And she's about, we had her at 26 and a half long. Maybe I did something wrong here. Yeah. I don't know, maybe 27? 26 and a half to 27. So anyway, she's a little longer. So when we do the math for true, that's 8.2% longer than she is tall. So it's an interesting thing to consider is we have a range from zero to almost 10%. What is slightly longer than tall? Is this something that in the Newfoundland Fancy we have some wiggle room on, like slightly could be all these bitches are acceptable. I definitely should have mentioned that all these bitches are champions in the American Kennel Club. Um, they've all won classes at nationals or earned selects at national specialties. So they have been, you know, judged as meeting the Newfoundland standard to the level that the judges felt they were worthy of championship points. So I would like to see the four of them again together. So now that you've heard all of the measurements, you can look again at the group. So one of the things to consider is, which I thought was very interesting, was that some people might prefer the large size of Beulah, the 140 pounds, the 29 inches tall, because size is desirable. It really is. But we also want to consider that the standard asks for a Newfoundland to be 20, a Newfoundland bitch to be 26 inches at the withers. And so if we have Beulah, if every, if every Newfoundland bitch was like Beulah, maybe we'd, we would need to change the standard because she's not slightly longer than she is tall. And she's also 29 inches, she's not 26. So I also averaged these four animals. And I did see also a request from Susan Wagner to put them in the order of shortest to longest. So we'll do that in a second. I'm gonna go back a little bit so we can look at the whole lineup of the four girls. And you can see that other thing I wanted to tell you is that I averaged, I was speaking of this before, I averaged their four heights and I came up with an average of 26.5, which is almost exactly what the standard asked for. So in my mind, if all the bitches were Beulah sized, we would not be meeting what the standard asked for. And if all the bitches were true sized, we would not be meeting what the standard asked for. So I think for every bitch that is Beulah sized, you also need to have a true sized bitch to have our average still be in that 26 range. So let's do a little rearrangement and arrange them by body length instead of height. So that's gonna mean that we put so it's gonna mean, cause True is shorter, that she's gonna be up further. So we're gonna start with True. Then we're gonna have Skylar. Then we're gonna have Beulah. Then we're gonna have Avery. Beulah and Avery are actually the same length. Avery then Beulah. But Beulah and Avery are actually the same length. So we could do them in either order. And it's interesting is that we've actually completely reversed them. We haven't rearranged them at all. Now it's the opposite order. So does that tell us something important? maybe even though their proportions are not all exactly the same, they're all comparable. So even though True is a lower, is shorter at the withers, she's also shorter in body, but she's proportionally shorter as compared to Beulah. So I'm just gonna go down the line again and let you look better at their outlines. This is True. This is Sky. This is Avery, and this is Viola. Okay, so there's something else that is really interesting to me, and that is how coat and size and substance play a role as well. Because I think when you're talking about proportions, how can we not be talking about size and substance? And Ashley has a question who's second now. Second now is Skylar. So I wanna also go and just give you, maybe we'll just touch briefly on the faces and substance, and then I'm gonna look over top of the dogs because a couple of the things that the standard asked about are heavy bone. So when we look at Truy's legs, we're gonna zoom in. She looks like she has pretty good bone and she's a pretty little bitch. And then we're gonna look at Truy from the top and you can see that Truy is very broad in the body. She also wants to kind of jump on me. We'll let that go. She's pretty broad in the body. And especially if we push down her coat, we can see that she has a pretty wide rib cage. I know it's hard to see with my videos, but I'm doing my best. Okay, coming up closer to Sky, 
we can see Skye's face, and then we can look down and see Skye's legs, and you can see that Skye looks like she also has pretty substantial bone in her legs. And I'm not gonna do it in the video, but I'm gonna tell you, I actually measured all their legs around their bone with uh, soft measuring tape, and I'm gonna tell you the results because they were kind of interesting. So you can see that Skye is also pretty broad. She's got a pretty good size of her rib cage. Now coming down to Avery, this is Avery's face. And here you can look down at Avery's legs and look at the bone in her legs. Now, one of the things I want to point out about Avery is Avery has a lot of hair. And so I think this is something to consider. She also looks really quite broad. There's a lot of hair there and there's a lot of hair on her leg too. And one of the things that I think is interesting is to consider when you're feeling the hair or the bone in the leg, how much hair are you also feeling? So anyway, we'll go down to the last one is Beulah. You can look at Beulah's face and Beulah's legs. And she has pretty thick legs. And I think she looks like she has a very deep chest, which is another thing the standard asks for, for the chest to go down to the elbow. And now we're gonna look when I put my hand around Beulah's leg, her leg is really thick and I can barely get my hand around it. Now Beulah also has a lot of hair. Now, one of the things that I thought was interesting is I think if I was going to have guessed, I would have said that when I measured the legs, that Beulah's leg, oh, I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't go top down on Beulah. So this is something interesting is that Beulah, when you look at Beulah from the top, she has a lot of hair and it's kind of hard to see the way I'm holding the phone, but Beulah's a little narrower. So she's, she's taller, but she's also a little narrower, but she definitely has a deep body for sure, but maybe she's a little narrower in the body. So the thing that was very interesting to me when I measured the legs was that Beulah and Skylar had the same amount of distance around their leg for the bone in their leg, nine inches, when I took a soft tape measure and I measured around their legs. Truy was a little less. She was eight, eight inches when I measured around her leg. And then this is the most interesting to me is that Avery actually had a 10 inch measurement of the bone in her leg. And so I think this is interesting to me because there's no way that I would say that Beulah is not a substantial animal because she is, but she's a taller animal than Skylar. But would we say she's a more substantial animal? Because Skylar had a broad body and a spring of rib and Skylar's bone in her leg was comparable about the same measurement as Beulah's. So if you think of her size being smaller than Beulah, we might almost come up with the argument that she's more substantial. So I would like to, even though we're mainly talking about proportions, I think one of the things that's interesting to consider with proportions is how do the proportions of these animals impact their movement? Because movement is an important aspect of the Newfoundland breed too. So I would like to move each animal and then we can consider based on their length how did that impact, or based on their proportions, how did that impact their ability to move? So why don't we first move them as a group and then move them one at a time? So I'm gonna back up. So Karen asked, Karen Beisel asked, where on the foreleg did you measure in the middle? I measured pretty high up under the elbow. Um, Steve is showing us where. Um, you know, as high up as I could go without being at the elbow, which is, I think, a place that judges often feel. When you watch them judge, you often see them feeling um, at that point of bone on the leg. And this is my first time measuring. So, all right, so we're gonna try to do a video of us going around. So I'm gonna stand this way and I'm gonna let everybody run by me and I will try to keep everyone in view as much as I possibly can. The first one is True. The second one is Skylar. The third one is Avery. And then last is Beulah. Sorry, it's hard to get everyone in the view at once. <laughs> Okay, and let's now go back and consider, everyone can sort of think at home who you felt um, you liked moving in the group. And remember that 
based on proportions, Avery is the longest. Beulah is the shortest or has the least slightly longer than tall or is the squarest. And then Skylar and True are in the middle. Yeah, and so why don't we try moving everyone individually just because I think it's um, a useful thing. And, and of course, it's a little hard to get the whole group in the video at the same time. Yeah, so why don't we do it with the longest first? We'll start with Avery. Remember, Avery is the most long versus her height. You ready? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't uh, zoom out quick enough there. It seems like I can zoom in pretty easily, but zooming out isn't so easy. All right, so there's Avery finishing her. Now we're gonna take Avery around. I think I'm gonna not try to zoom again. That didn't work as well as I'd hoped. Okay, I'm going to watch Avery moving. Very nice. Thank you, Avery. Okay, next we're gonna move True. True is the second longest, or proportions, proportionally longer than she is tall. And then we're going to take True around. Very pretty. And I think Susan has a really interesting question. Do longer dogs display better side movement? I think we generally have the feeling that they do, whether it's true or not. But I think we should see the movement, um, I don't want to say deteriorating, but the better movement with our first two animals who are the longer. Okay, next we're gonna move Sky. She's our second least proportional, or second squarest, let's say. Good girl, Sky. Now we're gonna go around with Sky. I'm sorry if the connection isn't good. Hopefully, even if the connection isn't good, we'll be able to, somebody can go back and watch this later. Thank you, Sky. Okay, now we're gonna last see Beulah moving. Yes, and so it should be available to be watched later too. So if, if my connection dropped out or if your connection dropped out, you can fill in the missing pieces. And again, I'm really hoping that we can open more conversations like this about different aspects of the Newfoundland. And, you know, the hope would be that once we're no longer in quarantine, maybe we can travel around and do Newfoundland conversations from different loca locations, not just, you know, with the people who are in our very close area. So you can see, now you can see Beulah moving. And there's Beulah stacked. Okay, so that brings us to the end of most of what I wanted to say today. But I really wanted to thank everybody who watched. I wanted to thank all the girls for helping bathe and dry the dogs, to Joanne for trimming everyone, and everyone for helping with the little mini dog show here. Thank you so much. And I also wanted to thank Cindy Flowers and Deb Weigel who inspired this as well as definitely the Classics team, who I thought did a really nice job with the video they put together. And I really think it would be amazing if this inspired other breeds to create similar videos and start conversations about different aspects of their standard that they think it would be great for people to understand. And I definitely think that there is def there's obviously subjective aspects to this, but I think it's a really good idea just to think about and talk about what proportions we think are ideal in our Newfoundland and how do those proportions affect their movement and their ability to be a great working dog. So thank you again, everybody. Thank you for your comments and thank you for watching. And um, please
please join the conversation and feel free to ask us any questions after. And I um, hope you enjoyed our video. And if people enjoyed it, let us know and we'll, um, we'll try to do a few more conversations in the future. Have a great rest of the day. Stay safe.